Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to Formatting a Drawing with iLogic. What we're going to do is we're going to take the drawing that I'm showing right here, and we're going to use iLogic to change the sheet size, title block, and border in just a few clicks instead of going through the drawing resources as I'm indicating here with my mouse and placing them one at a time. So how do I go ahead and do that? I'm going to go into my parameters and I'm going to add a text parameter named Format Select. I'll right click to make that a multi-value parameter and I'll enter the options for the different formats that I want. One for the A border, two for the B border, page one and two plus because they'll have different title blocks and likewise I'm going to continue and do this for the C border, the D border, E border, and I'm even going to go all the way up and do the F border. So I'm pretty much going to do all the ANSI borders we have available. I'll go ahead and add those and make those available. And now I have a pull down that I can access, but the pull down doesn't do anything yet. I'm also going to add an eye trigger parameter, which I'm indicating right there. And this is how I'm going to fire off this rule once it's complete. So now we've got our parameters created. What do we do now? Well, let's go ahead and let's click Add Rule. We'll name our rule. And once that rule is named, we go ahead and open up our rule editor and we can begin making use of these parameters. First, I'll add the code for trigger. Trigger equals I trigger zero. And that's going to fire the rule when I hit the eye trigger icon. Next, I'll go to my snippet section, and in the message box area, I'll click on input box. Then I'll fill in the blanks and basically say when I choose a value from format select, the dialog box will ask me to choose my desired format. I'll name which parameter is populating the multi value list which parameters are being called, give the title block a title, as well as giving the list a title. So now our title block is named. Now we'll add our statements. So I click on the shortcut and I'll say if format select, which is the variable that contains all those different uh, format sizes, if format select equals a border, then change my sheet size to an A. Also, change my border to an A border, which is the name that I gave this when I saved it to my drawing resources. I'll do the same thing for title block using the name that I gave to the desired title block. So in this case, small border title block. Now I'll go ahead and add an else if statement, effectively saying if format select equals B border then choose different options. So I'll go ahead and put in my new code, activate a sheet, change my sheet size, change my border and title block, but now I'll choose different options. And this will call up uh, the B size sheet, the border I've created for my B size border my B size title block and now we're ready there and I can go ahead and continue to type this or I can copy and paste and modify the code until I get the rest of the options because they're all effectively the same when I hit OK my dialog box fires and now by hitting the eye trigger button I can call that dialog
back up and select my different borders and title blocks. And there we are driving a border, title block, and sheet size using iLogic. Thank you for watching, everybody.